it's not the street junkie anymore that's using heroin, it's our children, and that just, it frightens me to death. We thought we were doing everything right, the way we raised our son and tried to provide him with the best, and the drug is winning, and it's frightening. He was an honor student at BC High. He started for the baseball team. His senior year, things started to change. His grades started slipping. He wasn't starting for the team. So I was worried, I was concerned, and I called his guidance counselor. They just assumed it was just senioritis. You know, don't worry, I'll talk to him, he's fine. They did talk to him, he seemed fine. A few weeks later, my husband noticed that his medication was missing. And then one night I noticed my son acting really strange. I said, I'm going to give you a drug test. There's something wrong. And he admitted that he had been using OxyContin. And what we thought had started with my husband's medication that my son was taking from the kitchen cabinet actually wasn't true. He had started sophomore year experimenting with pills. And we had no idea. I talked to my son all the time when he was a teenager about drinking and smoking marijuana. I didn't know anything about OxyContin. Through going to support meetings, I, I learned that once you start using OxyContin, it almost always leads to a heroin addiction. And it did. She said, Mom, I can't lie to you anymore. I'm really sick. I've been snorting heroin and I need to get help. Well, I felt like someone had stabbed me in the heart. My beautiful baby was heroin. Oh, my gosh. So um, I did what any mother would do, and we got him into a detox again. And this was only the beginning of a vicious cycle, the nightmare that we've been living for the past six years. He's been to numerous detoxes and halfway houses, and he's been in treatment. After a few months of snorting heroin, what we knew would happen happened. He started shooting heroin. My husband and I were here and I heard a crash in my bathroom floor and I ran upstairs and he had overdosed and I saw a needle on the floor. He was blue and unresponsive and had stopped breathing. We called 911 I said please bring Narcan and they had Narcan and they gave it to him and Amazingly, five minutes later, he walked down my stairs. And the EMT told me if he had injected that whole needle, he wouldn't have made it. He agreed to go to treatment. After nine months, he was thrown out of the treatment facility for using heroin again. But we didn't know that. We let him come home um, because they become so manipulative and they're such good liars that you believe them, just what heroin does to them. They'll go to any extreme, extreme to get what they want and they'll make up lies and they are just master manipulators. And I love my son so much, but I really hate what he, he's become. It's just, he, he's tried and tried and tried. And I pray every day that he'll make it. I, I really do, but it's, a very harsh reality that he could die. Recovery is possible. You just need to want it and you need to hit your rock bottom and I don't know what it's going to take for him to hit his rock bottom. I, I don't know.